join us on Patreon, and become part of our journey to uncover history's untold stories. Your support helps us create in-depth content, bring hidden narratives to life, and keep history alive for everyone. In the mid-19th century, when America was racing toward the age of industrial transformation, the story of communication itself was being rewritten. The telegraph, a device that could send messages across vast distances through electric signals, would forever change how humans interacted. Its invention became one of the most celebrated achievements of the modern world, commonly credited to Samuel Morse, whose name now echoes through textbooks and technology museums as the father of the telegraph. But beneath the polished surface of that story lies another, one buried deep beneath the layers of racial erasure that defined much of early American innovation. Before Morse ever built his famous device, a brilliant African-American inventor named Joseph Henry, often mistaken as a collaborator, but in truth a pioneer of his own right, and the lesser-known genius Granville T. Woods had already paved the way for electrical communication. It is Granville T. Woods, an inventor of unmatched brilliance and perseverance, who rightfully deserves recognition as the black inventor behind America's first true telegraph system designed for railroads and public use. His work predated many of the technologies that reshaped American industry, and yet his name has been mostly forgotten, erased by a nation unwilling to acknowledge that one of its greatest communication revolutions was sparked by a black mind. Granville Taylor Woods was born in Columbus, Ohio, on April 23, 1856, just five years before the start of the Civil War. He was born free, but his existence was still defined by the harsh boundaries of racism and systemic exclusion. His parents, Martha J. Brown and Taylor Woods, were poor laborers trying to survive in a society where black education was severely limited. From an early age, Granville exhibited a fascination with machinery, gears, and the mysterious power of electricity. He was self-taught, curious beyond his years, and determined to master the language of invention in a world that believed African Americans were incapable of genius. When formal education proved inaccessible, he educated himself by reading scientific manuals and studying mechanical drawings. His brilliance could not be confined by circumstance. By the age of 10, he had already begun working in a machine shop, learning the fundamentals of metalwork, engines, and electrical circuits. Every spark, Every hum of machinery whispered a new possibility to him. As he grew older, Woods pursued an apprenticeship in engineering and mechanics, and his thirst for knowledge only deepened. He spent years working in the rail industry, first as a fireman and later as an engineer. The railroad became his laboratory. He observed how signals, switches, and safety systems functioned or failed to function, and began thinking of ways to improve communication between trains and stations. Accidents were common in those days, often caused by the inability of conductors to relay messages quickly across distances. Telegraphy was still in its infancy, and Morse's early designs were impractical for the needs of a constantly moving railroad system. Woods saw what others could not. That communication could be made not only instantaneous but mobile, carried along the very tracks that crisscross America. In 1887, after years of experimentation, Granville T. Woods invented the synchronous multiplex railway telegraph. This device was revolutionary. It allowed messages to be sent between moving trains and stationary stations using electromagnetic induction, without the need for wires connecting them directly. The invention was, in many ways, the birth of wireless communication. It predated Marconi's wireless telegraph by nearly a decade, and it marked the first true step toward what would later evolve into radio technology. Through his telegraph system, train conductors could communicate instantly with other trains and dispatchers, preventing collisions and improving efficiency. Woods's telegraph used the rails themselves as conductors and relied on electromagnetic signals transmitted through the air a marvel of physics and practical design that transformed rail transportation forever. But Woods' achievement did not come without resistance. When he applied for patents, white inventors and corporations, most notably Thomas Edison, challenged him. Edison, who was already a giant in the electrical industry, claimed that Woods' invention was his own. A bitter legal battle ensued. Yet Woods, armed with both intellect and integrity, 
defended his creation in court. The case drew national attention as a black inventor standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with America's most famous white inventor was nearly unheard of in the 19th century. In the end, Woods triumphed. The U.S. Patent Office ruled in his favor, confirming him as the rightful inventor of the railway telegraph system. It was a landmark victory, not just for him, but for every black inventor who dared to innovate in a world determined to silence them. Ironically, after losing the case, Edison offered Woods a job at his company. Woods declined the offer, choosing independence over servitude, brilliance over compromise. His invention was soon adopted by railway companies across the United States and abroad. The safety it provided saved countless lives, and the efficiency it introduced reshaped the way railroads operated. Yet despite its massive impact, Woods received little financial reward. He continued to file patents, more than 60 in total, spanning everything from electrical brakes to power distribution systems. His mind was a constant storm of ideas. He invented an improved steam boiler, a third rail system for electric trains, and devices that would later influence the development of the telephone and the subway. His electrical apparatus for controlling current flow became foundational to modern train signal systems. Still, mainstream history largely erased his name, focusing instead on Morse, Edison, and Bellman, whose public recognition was built on systems of privilege. Woods's contributions cannot be understood in isolation. They form part of a broader, often ignored legacy of black innovation in America's industrial rise. While white inventors were celebrated and funded, black inventors like Woods were forced to fight for patents, recognition, and even basic respect. The world of 19th century science was one of racial exclusion, where even universities and patent offices were reluctant to acknowledge black intellectual authority. Woods operated in this hostile environment with remarkable resilience. Every success he achieved came at great personal cost. His inventions were often purchased or licensed by white-owned corporations that would later rebrand them under different names. Even his victories in court were quickly forgotten in the public record, rewritten by newspapers that rarely mentioned his race or background. To understand the magnitude of Woods's achievement, one must imagine the era in which he worked. The 1880s and 1890s were a time of intense industrial expansion. Railroads were the arteries of the nation, carrying people and goods across thousands of miles. Communication technologies were primitive, and accidents were frequent and deadly. The need for a reliable communication system between trains was urgent. Woods's telegraph provided exactly that, a wireless safety mechanism that modernized the entire industry. His invention allowed two trains moving on the same track to know each other's positions and communicate instantly, thereby preventing collisions. It was an elegant solution rooted in a deep understanding of both engineering and human need. Yet even as his invention was being celebrated by the rail industry, his personal life was marked by hardship. He lived modestly, often reinvesting what little money he made into further experiments. His dedication to invention was total. By the turn of the 20th century, Woods had become known among black newspapers and intellectual circles as the Black Edison, a title that, while flattering, underscored the way America only measured black excellence through white comparison. In truth, Woods was his own category, a visionary who anticipated the principles of wireless communication decades before the technology became mainstream. His railway telegraph laid the conceptual foundation for radio, radar, and even modern Wi-Fi. The obscurity of his legacy is not accidental. Like many black innovators of his time, Woods faced the twin barriers of racism and historical revisionism. The 19th century was an age that celebrated the myth of white ingenuity, constructing a narrative of progress that conveniently erased the contributions of African Americans. Black inventors were often forced to sell their patents to survive, and their names were removed from the record. It is telling that while Thomas Edison is remembered as an icon of American creativity, few schoolchildren ever hear of Granville T. Woods, the man whose work made wireless telegraphy possible years before Edison or Marconi claimed credit. In 1892, Woods improved upon his own telegraph by developing a more efficient version capable of transmitting both voice and telegraphic messages, 
a step toward the telephone system. This foresight into combining electrical signaling with sound transmission shows how far ahead of his time he was. He continued to invent until his final years, securing patents for automatic air brakes and electric power systems that later influenced subway development in New York and Chicago. Sadly, despite his monumental achievements, Woods died in relative obscurity in 1910 in New York at the age of 53. He was buried without much ceremony, his name already fading from public consciousness. But history, like electricity, has a way of resurfacing what is buried. Today, historians and engineers alike are beginning to re-examine the record, acknowledging the indispensable role Granville T. Woods played in shaping modern communication and transportation. His telegraph system was more than just an invention. It was a declaration of genius from a man society tried to suppress. It proved that brilliance knows no color, that innovation can emerge from those history chooses to forget. His journey embodies the struggle of countless black inventors who built the foundations of America's technological power while being written out of its story. The next time we think of the telegraph, the first electric communication that connected cities and lives, we should remember the man who made it truly mobile and transformative. Granville T. Woods not only revolutionized the railroad, he brought forth the dawn of wireless communication. His ideas live on in every text message, every radio signal, every piece of invisible information traveling through the air. The wires that once connected cities have become waves connecting the world, and they carry, unseen but enduring, the legacy of a black inventor whose light still shines through the static of forgotten history.